we pro produced more than half of Nipsey's album. It took years to make that album, but Nip Nipsey, he was like, I'm giving you guys the green light to be as creative as possible, but at the same time, like make it catered towards me. He was very involved in the sound. I would call him a producer too, because mm -hmm. he was in there, you know, telling us what he wanted. So Nipsey gave us the direction and we just tried to make it the best fit for him. Yeah. I'm Mike. This is Keys, and we're gonna make a beat with whatever is in this crate. Look, my nigga, this is dedication. This is anti-hesitation. This is a real nigga celebration. It's a dime block declaration. Last time that I checked, I was selling songs in the set. Make a quarter mil, no sweat. Last time that I checked. I still can't help but shine. I can't help but shine. I still can't help but shine. I wish time was everlasting. That's my eye in the afterlife. Shall not perish everlasting life. Could this be a nigga last tonight? Basketball. Basketball. Okay. I'm not sure what that is, but kitchen aid. Uh -huh. Oh, the slinky. slinky. I love slinkies. Dominoes. I never lose the dominoes. And a VHS tape. Wow. Okay, all right, well, let's get to work. All right, we got our engineer G. White, the great here. He does everything for us. We can't live without him. Feels like Christmas, I'm opening presents. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, good. Oh, that was tight. Hold on. I know that looks weird. Don't want to do nothing with the box, with the crate itself. So the first sound we're going to use is the slinky. Next sound we're going to try is the basketball. It's kind of acting as a kick, so we added a kick on top of that. VHS sound. I used to listen to a lot of Timberland beats, and I was just wonder like, okay, how is he making it sound like that? After I graduated high school, and everybody was like, you need to quit basketball and make beats because you're not that good in basketball, bro. <laughs> and we wanted to add hi-hats with the slinky so it'll sound more together. Now it sounds like on point now. Well, my dad was a minister, so he was always pressing me like, son, you have talent, use your talent. I was like, nah, I'm not trying to do music. I'm trying to be a fashion designer. And he was like, you have God, given talent he's like you gotta use it or god's gonna take it away so i was like what are you and he was right i went to college and i was like this is just not for me so right when i started doing music like i was like this is for me dominoes knock he might have an idea and i might just bounce off of what he does keys knows more is what to do with the beat so i'll just start the quick idea to get it out and he'll bring the idea to life or vice versa. We usually work together like that. It's just all vibe. It's like a basketball team. You know when to pass and when not to pass. This actually came from DJ Khalil. He's one of our mentors. He always sends us stuff that he works on and tells us to flip it. We know the same people that do music, so we ended up running into each other. We just formed a group. We was formerly known as the Futuristics. At the end, it ended up being just me and Mike. We just ended up working real good together. I know what my strength is, and I know what Keys' strength is, and I think it's vice versa, so I smoke weed. Keys doesn't smoke or do none of that, so it's like it automatically makes it a balance. All right, now we're gonna use the A-cutter sound. Is the same key as this. We had to put it in the same key as the sample. We love live 
instrumentation. So we try to incorporate that in, in our production. The majority of the music in the 60s and 70s and early 80s was live, a lot of live instruments and the quality sounded different. So we always try to have some of that in our music. All right, next we're gonna use the, the crate box sound. Yeah, we sample stuff all the time. It's, it's part of our sound. There is a song we had did with Dom Kennedy. We used like oh, um, yeah, we used beer a, bottles yeah. and all, Wine um, bottles, all that. like for all the percussions and the rhythms of the song. Like we'll hear a sound like the other day I put like a doorbell in a, in a beat because I heard it first. I found the sound off of YouTube and sampled it. Whatever I'm hearing in my head, I try to emulate it in real life. This was dope. I like picking the items out and being creative. It was dope.